This video was voted for by patrons of Questions for Science. At some point in time, everyone has overeaten at least once. It's just something that people do, and as long as you don't make it a habit, it's not that bad. However, when you overeat, bad things do happen to your body. But first, let's get on the same page of what is defined as overeating. According to Wikipedia, overeating or hyperphagia is defined as excess food consumed in relation to the energy that an organism expends, leading to weight gain and often obesity. It may be regarded as an eating disorder and can be a symptom of binge eating disorder or bulimia nervosa. Whoa, how about a definition that's less, uh, clinical? Relative to physical manifestations, overeating is defined as consuming a volume of food that is more than one liter, which is the fill volume for the stomach. More specifically, if after a meal you have nausea, abdominal discomfort, and extreme fatigue, you've probably overeaten. So what happens to your body when you overeat? Firstly, the stretching of the stomach stimulates the vagus nerve, which runs from the brain down to the stomach. The high amount of stretching in the gut sends a signal to your brain to tell you that you've hit capacity. This triggers the brain to stimulate a painful sensation of tissue stretching in the stomach to make sure you stop eating. One way people unintentionally overeat is by eating too fast. If you eat too quickly, you can actually bypass this stretch mechanism by filling the stomach with food before it has time to expand causing you to overeat and then feel a delayed reaction of being full. The stomach by default holds one liter of food, but because the organ tissue can stretch, its volume can increase up to three liters. With the stomach volume now being two to three times larger, it presses up against your abdominal organs which are packed together like sardines, making the infamous food baby. Your stomach also pushes on the diaphragm reducing the expansion volume of your lungs, which is why you have shallow breaths after you overeat. Next, your expanded stomach and food contents put pressure on a piece of circular muscle called the cardiac sphincter, which sits between the esophagus and the opening of the stomach. The job of the cardiac sphincter is like every other sphincter in the body, to act as a natural body passage, like here, here, and here. But that one's not for food. It also constricts the opening of the stomach to prevent backflow of food into the esophagus. The expanded stomach stretches the sphincter, making it open, which is why you feel nauseous when you overeat. The stomach has a reflex that prevents you from eating so much that you rupture it. If you were to eat more than the stomach could physically hold, the food contents would be forced past the cardiac sphincter and into your esophagus. Once here, the stomach activates a purging reflex that makes you vomit the contents, so you don't damage the organ. However, with overeating, you stop just as the cardiac sphincter is getting stretched. This causes the reflex to be irritated, putting you in a constant halfway point between nausea and feeling full. While digesting, the parietal cells in the stomach lumen release gastric acid composed of hydrochloric acid, potassium chloride, and sodium chloride. Normally, this is a harmless process. Gastric acid is released, food is broken down, and is then sent to the small intestine. No problem. However, because your stomach is now two to three times overfilled, the body has to produce a higher volume of gastric acid to digest the food. Add to the fact that your cardiac sphincter is now partially open, the higher volume of gastric acid flows into your esophagus, causing heartburn. If your meal is high in fat like chicken wings or cheeseburger, the digestion will take even longer as fats require the most time to be broken down. Finally, a very large amount of digested food has to be passed through your intestines. More food means more weight, which means more work for your intestinal tract. Your heart rate increases to divert extra blood from the rest of your body to stimulate compression of the intestines to carry the food to your colon. Once digested food is in the intestines, the pancreas secretes higher amounts of amylase, protease, and lipase enzymes to further break down carbohydrates, protein, and fat in your intestines. This diversion of blood from your muscles and extra enzyme production requires large amounts of energy, causing extreme fatigue, which is why you feel so tired after you overeat. Luckily, once food leaves the stomach, it shrinks back to its normal resting volume of 73 milliliters. However, consistent overeating will lead to weight gain as the excess calories that are not burned off are stored as fat. A really good way to prevent yourself from overeating is to eat slower. The best meal to achieve this is soup because it takes longer to eat a bowl of soup than it does a slice of pizza or a cheeseburger. By the time you finish the soup, your brain has had time to register that your stomach has expanded, instead of overfilling before it expands. And uh, click the bell to subscribe, you know.